uh, way they well they've come out aggressive in all of, all three of the games, but they really made shots tonight. Uh, we we're very fortunate to get this W. Um, and I'm just thankful we were making shots as well. But um, you know, it's a young group. They don't run out of any energy, and uh, you know you have to execute and and, and really simplify and, and and stay true to your principles. You know, we we gave up a ton in transition. Um, we turned the ball over, couldn't get a defensive rebound at times. It's just, you know, but again, when you're able to score the ball, it covers up for a lot of mistakes, but we can't depend on that night in and night out. We got to hang our hats on our defense and San Antonio is a good, hungry, young bunch that's, you know, they're going through a transition as an organization, but believe you me, what their core values are, this team will be back to where it once was here pretty soon. Um, and with us, we just, again, we have to really understand what we want our identity to be. And um, it's got to be defense. It's got to be making winning, you know, playing winning basketball and, and having winning habits. You got a couple guys going offensively. Uh, you alluded to Shooter in the first half, so you need to find a rhythm. And then LeBron uh, gets up to seven threes made and the, the free throw line hitting everything. Uh, what did you see from on that end, and how, how key could that be to get those guys going? I mean, we just got whenever we play with pace and we move the ball from side to side, um, and we're attacking, we're in attack mode, and we're not selling, and we're playing downhill. I mean, good things are going to happen. And, you know, guys kind of separate, separate themselves in different segments of the game in which you can play through, whether it's uh, trying to get an isolation or trying to play a two-man game or involving three guys. But um, we had different guys step up during different segments of the game, had some guys make some big threes for us, timely threes. And so uh, I thought it was good. You know, guys, uh, a lot of guys contributed. Darwin, we start the trip with Pat Bev stepping in for Austin. And tonight we have LeBron stepping in with Russ is bleeding just as a coach what did you make of, of that sequence to see lebron step in there and then expanding it to see their on-court chemistry as well with that double alley-oop i mean it, though you're talking about two hall, first ballot hall of fame players man that, that, that know how to play the game of basketball to understand when it's played the right way they know how to play it um and that highly competitive individuals both on and off the floor um and i just you know at the end of the day Again, those three key words, competitiveness, togetherness, and accountability. And that's that's what togetherness looks like. Being there for your teammate, he takes a shot to the head and, you know, and, you know, you don't want to escalate the situation. You want to try to calm him down. You got a guy with blood all over his face that's under, who's understandably up, upset and just having Brian there and just, it shows a brotherhood that, that we, we need that type of, that image, that action, that belief in one another, we need that to represent us as a team and as a franchise. Well, speaking about LeBron, what about his play? He did miss a free throw, 39 after having, as I said last night, a thousand turnovers, and he was, he was, he was, but he was so good on the court as well. What do you think about the way he's played tonight? I just, you know, it doesn't take him long to get back in rhythm. You know, he, he had some tough stretches last night, nine turnovers or whatnot. But as I mentioned after the game last night, I'm not worried about him. He's one of the best ever at uh, self-correcting. And I thought he knew where he wanted to get his shots from. He knew what type of actions he wanted to be in. You know, I myself tried to put him in different type of actions from different angles. Um, but nah, he was phenomenal. I'm happy to see he got 10 free throw attempts. Um, he had been all year. He's been driving downhill, and just because you know he plays with a ton of physicality, and it's hard for people to really knock him off his route. It doesn't mean that he's not getting fouled. So I'm just just happy he was able to get there um, for ten attempts. And we need him to be aggressive, and we need to be smart, um, and just understand that you know a lot of the time, a lot of times this season, like AD. As he goes, we're gonna go. And so he was very vocal, coaching up his teammates, you know, suggesting different actions um, and executing on both sides. Uh, Darvin, you talked a lot about in rebound, then find another body, put your body on his, and and then also, you know, not losing cutters, not losing guys on defense off ball um, tonight. 
um, 17 offensive rebounds for the Spurs, even though they're missing some of their best big guys at the end, and then um, back cut a bunch. What what has to change there, especially, especially kind of keeping track of when you're on defense of guys kind of flying out off ball? I just think, you know, with, with the lack of practice time, you know, you try to watch as much film as you can, but the guys are just, they know what we're expecting. They know what we need from them. Um, they know what we need to do to win games. They know what we need to do to be at a high level defensively. And it's just a matter of going back to the drawing board. We'll have tomorrow off, probably have a shoot around on Monday, um, look at some film on ourselves as we prepare for Indiana, but also, you know, address some of the, some of those things. And, and, and Tuesday, hopefully, be able to get on the practice floor, obviously, with limited, if no contact at all, um, and talk about those things, you know, those, those areas, the things, again, self-inflicted wounds, things that we can control, how good we are in transition defense, um, keeping guys in front of us, not letting teams play downhill against us, being great contesting shots without fouling, um, defensive rebounding and, and offensively not turning the ball over and making sure we have too many good offensively talented players to just turn it over at this rate um, and not really make sure that we get a good look every time down. And turnovers are going to happen. I'm not the big turnover coach. They're going to happen. But they have to be competitive turnovers, not just non force just silly errors. So we'll get better. And, you know, it's just what we 18 games in now, 64 games left. We got some time, but, you know, time is of the essence at the same time, and, and we plan to get better for sure. Thanks, Coach.